Many of us have first aid kits at home, but when is the last time that you actually looked inside to see if you have all the supplies that you need for your baby in case of an emergency? It's probably been a while. Well, the safety mom, Allison Rhodes, is here to show us what we need and how to use it. It's great to have you back with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in. Let's start with a fever. It's a big cause for concern for a lot of parents. How high is too high? And actually taking the temperature is a problem. Exactly. So show us what you've brought and then tell us about medication. Well, what's really good is, first of all, fevers aren't necessarily a bad thing. You just need to monitor. Under three months, absolutely take them to the pediatrician. But over three months, anything under 102 isn't necessarily bad. But how do you get that accurate temperature? This is great. This is the Kids Med 5-in-1 No-Touch Thermometer. Which is fantastic. It really is because if your baby's sleeping, you don't want to bother them. You just point this at their head. It has an infrared light. When the two dots come together, you've got the accurate temperature. No muss, no fuss, and you've got the accuracy. So peace of mind. What are you looking for? You really want to look, as I said, over three months. If it's under 102, it's fine. Just watch them. If they get lethargic, if they're not eating, then you want to take them to the doctor and you can give them some acetaminophen. Okay. But if it's not, just let it be. It's accurate actually nature's way of fighting off viruses. Okay, and they may be very little, but they still get stung by bees. In the summer, the spring, you need to be concerned about that and That's what right. you have in your kit. So you right. should always have Benadryl on hand. Right, well, one of the biggest misconceptions is people think to scrape it out with a credit card. The most important thing is get it out as soon as possible with whatever you're gonna use. And then to reduce the swelling and also in case if there's an allergic reaction, something like Benadryl is great. Keep that in the first aid kit. And also, obviously, if they are allergic, an EpiPen, keep that with you at all times. Of course. It could be life and death. Okay, and when they do get up and start walking, toddlers, two oh. and three years old, they're gonna fall down. There are gonna be boo-boos and bumps and scrapes. Right. What do you, what should you have? Scrapes and scratches, another misconception. Do you keep it covered? Do you air it out? You wanna keep it covered and moist. And okay. you wanna have a antiseptic pain reliever and mm -hmm. a cream, something like neo to go pop it in your backpack, pop it in the diaper bag, and then you wanna have it covered. Now, I know my kids hate wearing Band-Aids. So a lot of cute things coming out, bar band-aids make it fun for them but keep it moist and keep it covered really important okay let's talk about burns now we're not talking about sunburns because obviously it's important to right. even throw in some sunscreen but this is if something spilled on them or had a little burn from that's something. right and burns actually happen more from hot water so keep that in mind okay. you want to use cool water not cold water and certainly no butter or ointment cool water running and then again for pain treat it with something like neosporin a topical pain reliever gel to, just to keep them comfortable but by all means if it looks like it's really dangerous, call 911, get them to the emergency room quickly. Okay, there's no doubt that your baby and your toddlers are going to come down with something. It just it's just happens. It's inevitable mm -hmm. and it's going to go right through the house. So you have some things to use in case this does happen. And again, something new to keep in your first aid kit. What you want to make sure is you're not giving your little ones over-the-counter cold medications. But if you do have to give them acetaminophen or an antibiotic, how to measure it properly. This is a great idea. This is great. It's a pacifier. It's a kids meds pacifier. You can put it in there, accurate dosage. Either they can suck on it or if they're not, there's a plunger so you can get it in. And also, if you are going to have an antibiotic treatment, use the entire treatment. You don't want to stop it halfway through because they seem like they're healthy. Right. The other problem is if how are you going to treat them if they have a stuffed up nose? This is Sinuclans Kids Mist. You want to use saline to keep their nose moist. A cool mist humidifier, not a warm mist humidifier. That's the way to keep them going. But try to prevent whenever okay. possible. And th and that's the key. It you is. want to pack, even in a three-year-old who's going into preschool, so, uh, some hand sanitizer Absolutely. to take along. But make sure it's non-alcoholic. I love this hands to go. It's non-alcoholic because a lot of people don't realize kids will see it, put it in their mouth, pump it, lick it. It's the equivalent. The alcoholic ones are equivalent to a shot of alcohol. So you want hands-free, um, alcohol-free, hands-to-go. Really helps. It does kill the germs, but keep good hand washing. And if your baby is sick, isolate them from the rest of the family because, as you know, it's just going to go through the it, family. It's going through my house right now. Allison, thank you so much. Great tips. Moms and dads, go through. Check your uh, first aid kit. Make sure you have all these things in there. So great to have you Thanks there. for having me. Okay, for more great safety tips from Allison, you can go to her website, www.safetymom.com. Thank you so much for watching Parents TV. We'll see you soon.